What's good, y'all? Before we begin the main subject matter of this video, let's do a, let's talk a little business first before we you know start we start the edumacation. All right. One of the things that's been really cool that I really do consider to be a great blessing is, uh, you know, someone asked me to be their sponsor on this journey. You know, like a, a mentor mentee type of relationship. That is awesome. You know what I'm saying? And I always have time for people that are ready to put in the work. I have time for people that are willing and ready for failure and ready to get back on the bike in the, in, in the event that they do. You know what I'm saying? If you quit on yourself, I quit with you. I'm not the I'm not the one that's going to be right here. Come on, you could do it. No, if you quit on yourself, what am I going to do? You quit on yourself. You know what I'm saying? I don't have time for that. I don't have time for quitters. Number 1. But if you going to quit on yourself, what do I have to do with you? You know what I'm saying? This is a journey that starts at your ball sack. You think I care more about your ball sack than you should? No, sir. No, sir. So you need to understand that. It's like I'm very real and I'm very fair. You know what I'm saying? You know how I am from the jump. My my guy, it's like he can attest right now. Shout out to you. It's like he came to me and said, hey, yo, I know my problems. I know this and that. Sometimes I just need people to give me a different way of thinking about things. Or I need someone that's been on the journey to tell me what I'm about to run into and blah, blah, blah. I got all the time in the world for you. You know what I'm saying? We schedule a time to talk. We'll talk. We can talk for 10 minutes or we can talk for an hour and a half like we did last night in the, in the week before. So if you want this type of relationship with me you want this like mentorship type of program with me or you just want to like kick and holler at me you know i might make a discord let me know if y'all are interested in that we can all just like you know bounce ideas off one another or shoot me an email send me a comment you know and just say hey yo i can use that type of help and if you're ready to put in the work i'm right there with you you know what i'm saying i'm more so the the, the teacher the mentor that's gonna walk right next to you see you fell I'm not going to move the rock out of your way. I'm going to see if you saw the rock. If you trip on it, I'm like, hey, so why didn't you see that big rock in the way? That's all on you. And now you have to learn from it. And that's where I'm already giving props to my guy. Shout out to you, Sean. You know, shout out to Sean, man. Like, the dude already, like, he said, yo, I messed up, man. And I was like, all right, cool. So what's wrong? What happened? What got? And he, he explained everything to me. He said, you're not mad? No, I'm not mad. Because you already know where you messed up. You already did the hard part. Identifying where you messed up. You understand? So sh everybody show some love for Sean. You know what I'm saying? We are here to support one another because we are all here to grab each other by the arm and lift each other up to the to a same level so we can all grow and ascend together as men. With that being said, let's talk into some of the three things. These are going to be three separate videos, but this is going to be the first of three things that came out of a conversation between me and my homie. All right. So this is what we're going to talk about, right? One of the things that a lot of people in my in my senior retention videos, especially if you came from my uh, like one year on senior retention video, because that seemed to be very popular all of a sudden. It's like one of the things that I said, I think it was in that video anyway, where I, I related the senior retention journey as to gaining power levels, as in charging the chakras. I went from chakras first because I'm a spiritual channel first. But for those of you that don't like chakras, let's look at this as the seven levels, right? Once again, for the quick breakdown for new people, you know, for the dudes in the back, you know, it's like we got the we got the root chakra, the sacral chakra, the solar plexus chakra, the heart chakra, the throat chakra, the third eye chakra, and the crown chakra on the top of your head. Those are the seven levels. If you don't believe in all that hippy dippy bullshit, that's cool. Let's just roll with the seven levels. We all know what we're talking about here. The seven levels are like in Dragon Ball Z. You get the seven bars a meter to make do the craziest combo, do ultimate abilities, whatever. I actually don't play the game, but I've seen clips. All right, I get enough to talk about it, right? So you, when the more power you have, the more that you can exact your vengeance, your wrath on your enemy, right? So what we are doing with the SEMA retention is we are building the levels. Where do you feel all this tension? Where do you feel all this energy that you don't know what to do with it? It's in your balls. It's at the lowest level of you. You, it's your job on this journey to raise that energy up and it begins to circulate throughout your body right now when y'all some of y'all jacking off five six plus times a day that's crazy by the way but for those of y'all jacking off that much that many times a day it's like you are not even at level two you are draining yourself at level one level one the bar starts to charge level one the bar starts to charge level one the bar starts to charge level one you are destroying yourself you understand? There's nothing wrong with a healthy sex life, but sometimes we got to put this on pause for right now. So you actually know what you're doing because some of y'all just running around. This is normal. It's, it's normal for me to squeeze my dick and keep jacking off until white stuff comes out. That's normal behavior. Something don't sound right like that to me. You know, and that's how I think about it. So what you need to do is understand these seven chakras, these seven levels. 
What can you do in your daily life to build up on this? Let's keep the power of the, the number seven in our heads. Give yourself seven new, brand new challenges that you need to do. I don't care how simple they are. I don't care how hard they are. Because guess what? That's on you. That's your decision. You know what you can and can't handle. You know what I'm saying? Some of y'all sell yourselves way too short. You know what I'm saying? But hey, it is what it is. But you have to look at it like this. I don't care what you do. You can make it your goal. One of your seven goals that I want to lift my hand every day. <sighs> Number one, done. And I'm going to look at you like, bro, like that's your challenge for yourself? Just lift your hand up? All right. Well, as long as you're accomplishing challenges, I guess that's better than nothing. But then you're going to look at yourself as someone that started the, the, the semen retention journey after you and see what they're challenging themselves with you know i'm gonna learn me a new language i'm gonna do 100 push-ups a day you know i'm gonna I'm learn a new recipe one new recipe a week you know i'm gonna learn how to pilot a helicopter you know what i'm saying and go look at their lives after you so they're the ones that can this whole journey very seriously you know while i'm doing this journey i'm not just sitting at the clock looking at my looking at my days <sighs> i did one day of semen retention oh my god okay i'm gonna stare at the clock for another 24 hours I did two days on semen retention. Oh my God, I don't think I can make it. No, because you're not doing anything. You're just staring at the clock. Those of you that go to work, those of you that sit in the classroom, if you stare at the clock every five minutes, that day goes by extremely slowly, does it not? So it's like, you're doing the same thing with this journey. For me, I believe in exponential logarithmic growth. All right, one day. Let's just say your streak is, your best streak, your best streak is 12 days, right? Your best streak is 12 days. So in the beginning, it was like, I'm going to do this for a day, two days, three days. You fucked up. Okay, start over. One day, two days, three days, four days. You fucked up. Okay, what you were doing, you're still in the time period of days, right? One day, two days, three days, four days. What you need to do is, okay, once you get past, once you make it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven to a week, you now go from weeks. You don't do eight days, nine days, ten days. You go to weeks. So one day, two days, three days, four days. Then you go to, okay, I'm at a week. Okay, now one week, two weeks, three weeks, four weeks. Now you're at a month. Now you go by months. You see what I'm saying? And in between that time, you are going out there and accomplishing other challenges. You're not just saying, no, uh, do semen retention, no jacking off, semen retention, semen. No, go do other things. The day goes by faster when, you're, when your mind is stimulated, does it not? When you're in the classroom, when, when y'all watch a movie, that hour and a half goes by a lot faster if you have to, instead of sitting there listening to your boring ass teacher, right? So what you need to do is challenge yourself. Make a pyramid, make a list of seven things that you wanna do. Here's the kicker. You are becoming more and more infinite. You are becoming more and more powerful. You are starting to realize when you reach all seven of these basic levels that you reset again and you give yourself an even harder list to do. You see, because this is what happens, right? You, you accomplish the first list of seven. People about in your family, people close to you, are we going to see what you're doing? Hey, yo, bro, like you're drinking a lot of water right now. You're like, you always walk around with that gallon? Why are you doing that? Hey, yo, bro, we're watching a movie. You just dropped to the floor and started doing push-ups. People are going to see you working towards something. And what you're going to do, this is going to detest your friends. This is going to test the people around you. When they see you bettering yourself, they're going to call you weird. Yo, bro, why are you doing push-ups, dog? Yo, why are you drinking all that water, homie? Why are you drinking stuff that's going to cleanse your body out and heal your, your immune system? Why are you doing that? That, bro you don't realize what you working on yourself and building yourself this is something that i actually learned from sean you know it's like and this is something that i believe but i liked hearing it out loud again it's like you on your own there are no friends on this journey there are none you know the only friends that you're going to have are going to be the ones i'm going to talk about in the next video the people that are growing with you but we're going to talk about that in a quick second Right now, we're gonna focus on this list of seven. Each one of these, just look at it. Every time you accomplish one of these things on your list for seven days, you replace it with something else. You make it that you could do your seven little tier triangle or list, and you do every single thing that you said that you were gonna do. You are a man. The most valuable thing, at least in my humble opinion, the most powerful trait of a man is sticking to his word. If you, you're going to go out here and make promises to the world, oh, yes, yes, Tim, I'll, I'll have that report on your desk by seven, and you have it on there by seven. Oh, hey, I'll do this for you, and you do it, you do it. But with yourself, you lie to yourself. That's crazy. You can do all this for random people that aren't living your life, that don't have to deal with the consequences that you have to deal with with your actions, and you can give them all of your loyalty, but you don't have loyalty to yourself first? Pump the brakes there, hot rod, and bring it back, and come get yourself in check first. There are no friends on this. You might lose some friends during this, but why would you want a friend that doesn't support you working on yourself?
You see what I'm saying? So you make this list of seven. Every day, you knock these things out. You do your 10 push-ups. You do your 10 sit-ups. You do your 10 squats. You drink a gallon of water a day. You change up your diet. You eliminate something. You know, you do something that's going to push you to the next level. Because like I said in one of my videos, this is like a video game. Everything, every award that you get, all the gold, all the new weapons, all the new skills are to prepare you for the next level that's going to be even harder. So when you, when you successfully complete your seven lists, or your, 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 your seven thing list, and you do it for seven days, you would get rid of that one. That's your new baseline. Your new baseline is gonna be higher than people that can, can even hope to achieve. Your lowest form, your, your, your base form Goku, you know what I'm saying? Your base form Goku is stronger than what Krillin is ever gonna be. Right now you're hanging around a bunch of Krillins that die in every boss fight, <laughs> you feel me? You know, you, 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 you hanging around with a bunch of Krillins. But now, like what does Goku and Vegeta always say? They wanna fight the strongest, they wanna challenge, they want competition. And that's what you're doing when you're raising up in these levels. You know, right, when you, when you raise, let's look at it like this, you know, since a lot of people use Dragon Ball Z, right? When you get this first triangle done, when you get this first list done, that's your KO Ken. When you get the next one done, that's your KO Ken times 10. When you get the next one, that's your that's your Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan 2, 3, 4, God, blah, 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 blah. However many things you want to do in there. Because by the time you get to Super Saiyan 3, 4, you're doing stuff that people are looking at you like, yo, why are you doing that? Yo, just sit back and relax. Nah, you hungry. You training. And you are doing everything. Every time you can do something crazy for seven days straight. And I'm not saying like, you know, you can fly a helicopter seven days straight unless you got it like that. But you know what I'm saying? You do something consistently enough that you get to a point of mastery or something. Or you like say, okay, I can keep on doing this. Let me replace the helicopter with another challenge for, with, with myself. And I'm going to continue to do the old stuff with what I'm doing and of course it's going to change and build upon each other once you like level up you know what you can or what you what you need and what you don't need but we're doing all this to build and to rise so keep on challenging yourself don't be that guy that says I lifted my hand I did one thing on my thing if you want to do that cool you just have a few more laps you didn't start at K.O. Ken you know you started at Yamcha T.N. Uh, Chao Tzu you know what I'm saying that's where you start if that's what you want to do with all that type of stuff but as you raise your way you then you can get the Piccolo Piccolo is kind of badass but then when you hit Goku Vegeta levels and you can be like you can go to the, the destroyer and all that type of stuff with the, with the, with the Vegeta route everyone knows Vegeta is the best character I don't care fight me anyway you know, I hope this motivated y'all. If y'all, once again, if y'all need any help with this, if you need anything, I'm just going to point you in the right direction. I'm not going to tell you what to do. This is your success. This is your journey. I don't care if you fail or not. You should care. Why do you care if I don't care? This ain't my life. This ain't my success. This ain't my ball sack. I don't care. You need to care more than anything else because once again, you need to fulfill your promises that you give yourself. I am going to do this. I'm the, I am the man that I want to be. And the man that I want to be is someone that says something and he does it. You understand? I am the man that I want to be. Keep on saying that to yourself while you're doing these challenges. And I'm telling you, things are just going to get easier and easier. And you're going to like accept the challenge. You're going to be hungry for the challenge. The same time that you wasted on porn, you're going to be like, you know what? Nah. I want to do some push-ups. I want to make a new recipe. You know, I want to re, uh, 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 what's the word? Like, uh, uh, what's the word? Uh, refurbish, uh, uh, re, whatever. Fix up an old car. You know, I can't think of the word right now because I'm, I'm getting excited right now. But nevertheless, whatever your challenges are, whatever it is that you're trying to work towards, get to it. If you want to make your own channel, okay, bet. Start right now. Every single day, I'm going to do a research. I'm going to do research on low-end equipment and high-end equipment. You feel me? Every single, it could be something like that. It doesn't have to be you doing something. Go research something. One of the things I like to push to people is cryptocurrency. I believe it's either going to make or break you. I mean, the value of the U.S. dollar is tanking and tanking and crypto is just kind of chilling there and people making money off of it right now. So you got to be ahead of the game. That's where I'm at right now. I'm just trying to drop what I know on y'all. So anyway, I got two more videos to make. See y'all in the next ones. Peace.